Hello, welcome back to Scaffold Design for Scaffolders. In this video, you will learn how to calculate a moment. But before, I'll make a brief summary of the previous lesson. So, we said that load is anything that can move or change the dimensions of the scaffold. We will calculate all loads in kilonewtons, and if we have to convert kilograms to kilonewtons, we will remember that one kilonewton equals 100 kilograms. Now, what is a moment? If you remember, the forces or loads can push or pull. Okay? Now, they can also uh, make the structure rotate around an axis or a point of reference. So, how are we going to calculate? that rotation, that moment. Moment is just a force times a distance. And always that distance is going to be perpendicular from the force to the axis or the point of application. So, for example, imagine you have a 2 meter wall with a 5 km point load at the top. So, what's going to be the moment at the base of the wall? So, we say a moment equals force times distance. So, we have a moment equals the force 5 km times the distance. In this case, 2 meters to the base of the wall. And that's 10 km per meter. Okay? Now, let's put another load. This one is, we call it H, and it goes on the opposite direction at mid-height. So, let's calculate it. Let's, I call it just moment for H. So, the load is 5 km, and the distance to the ground is, in this case, 1 meter. So that's 5 kN per meter. Now, we have two forces, two loads on opposite directions, and obviously the moments are on opposite directions. Now, which direction are we going to take as positive? For that, we're going to remember the right hand rule. Right hand rule, as shown here, basically with your right hand always, you are going to follow with your fingers the direction of the force and then you turn or rotate following the distance. So if that turn is anti-clockwise, we are going to take it positive. If it's clockwise, negative. And the moment will follow the direction of your thumb. Okay? The direction of the moment is always perpendicular to the surface that the force and the distance are creating. So in this case, for F, we'll have the thumb going towards us out of the paper. And that's going to be positive because it's anti-clockwise. Later, in a 3D, you will understand very well why it's positive. So, for F is going to be positive. For H, we are, for H, we are go getting a clockwise. So, that's going to be negative. So, moment for H is going to be negative. And therefore, the total moment in O is going to be a positive 5 kilonewton meter. And to avoid confusions, always good idea to put here the signs. Okay? And also, you can consider with just three fingers. So, the index is the force, the middle finger is the distance, and then the thumb, as before, is pointing in the, in the direction of the moment. 
So let's put another example. In this case, in this case we have a four meter wall with a line load of three kilonewton per meter. So, as always, moment equals force times distance. We are just going to calculate it here. Let's call it point O. So, moment equals force times distance. Now, what is the force? Now we have a line load, we don't have a point load. So, we have to multiply the line load times the length or in this case the height where it is applied. So we have three kilonewton per meter times four meters. Okay, that's going to be the total load. And then the distance from the center of the load to the ground. Okay, here is a, a rectangle for the line load, so we know that the center is going to be at mid height, two meters. So we have here 24 kilonewton meter. And since it's going anti clockwise, it's going to be positive. Okay, as before, always good idea to show the signs. Now, if you check on, on a book or online, you may find the formula written like M for this particular case, QL squared divided by 2. It's the same thing, okay? The L squared just, just means that L is multiplied by L. That's all. And if you, if you had L to the third, it will be L times L times L. So the same with the number. 5 squared is 5 times 5. 5 to the cube is 5 times 5 times 5. It's just a technique to save some, some space and some ink when you write. So, yeah, for curiosity, the number is the base and the, 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 the second or the third is the exponent. But don't worry about it. Now, let's try this time on a 3D structure. So we have a cube with two meters per side standing on the ground. Okay? Now, it's important to remember the distance has to be perpendicular from the load to the axis of application or the point of application. That means that in this case, F1, since it's parallel to the X axis, will not create moments on the X axis, okay? So in this case, F1 will create moments around the Y and the Z axis. So, um, first time distance. So we have the force, 5km, times the distance. So this is at the top of the cube, so it's going to be 2 meters to y, that's 10 kilonewton meters. Okay, so now, so we have m on y, let's calculate the moment on the z axis. So, the load is the same, 5 km, and now it's going towards Z, that's 1 meter, for a total of 1 kilonewton meter. Now, which one is positive, which negative, or the same? We are playing the right hand rule. So, for the moment on Y, we are having the finger pointing towards the negative side of the Y axis. So the moment is negative. 
minus 10. And for set, we are getting the thumb pointing upwards along the positive side of the set axis. So it's positive. That's why I said before, if it's anti-clockwise, we are going to call it positive, as you see, because it's following the positive side of the axis. If it's clockwise, it's negative. Now, let's do it again for an additional force, F2. So, for F2, since it's parallel to the Y axis, it will create moments only along the X or the Z axis. So, the M sub X of F2. So, what it mean? It's going to try to overturn the cube around the X axis. So, we have 2km and the distance looks like 1.5 meters and that's 3.0 kilonewton meter. And then we have another one is set. So in, in this case is going to try to rotate around set. It's like it's a torsional moment. So we have the 2kn times 1 meter. It's 2 kilonewton meter. Now, mx with the right hand, it's going anti-clockwise with the thumb pointing on the positive side of the x-axis, therefore positive. And for the set, we have going clockwise and the thumb is pointing down, so it's negative. There you go, minus. Okay. Now, that's been all for today's lesson. I'm just going to leave you three exercises so you can practice at home. The first one, it's very similar to the, to the one before, but this is a cantilever. Okay, you have a beam fixed to the wall with a lilot up top. And this one, it's a wall or a flagpole, if you want, with a line load on one side and a point load on the other. You have to calculate the moment at the base. And this one, it's on 3D. So you have a point load at the base of 2 kN. And then on one face of the, of the cube, you have a 2 km per meter square in post load. Okay, as we do for, for line loads, you do for, for impose load or pressures. So you have to find the total load on that face. You know the area and then consider what's the point of applications. So it's in the, it's a square. So the center of gravity is going to be at the center of the square. So that was all. To summarize, moment is a force times a distance. And we are going to calculate it kilonewton per meter. And to know if it's positive or negative, remember always the right hand rule. We just follow the force, rotate around the direction, and wherever the thumb is pointing, that's the direction of the moment. If you rotate, Anti-clockwise, it's positive. If we rotate clockwise, the thumb is down, it's negative. All right? So thanks for watching. Please let me know if you understand, if you don't, if you, if you like it, if you don't like it, if it's boring, interesting. So give, give me your opinion, your comments, and share it with your contacts. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.